Messi. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Maradona. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, all you ask from a direct free kick is make the keeper work. He's working now. He's picking it out.
Right, so I've spent the last um, hour and a half, as you can see, getting packs, and that's what I got. I got a couple of unduplicate uh, duplicates in there, which is unfortunate. But the aim um, of this session was to get these four maybe complete. Definitely this one, definitely the Matweedy, and definitely Munier. Keely and I don't really care about. Munier could actually go into the team as well off the bench, but then the 94 plus team of the season is just if I have anything spare. But Matweedy is the priority, so that's who we are going to complete first today. Um, as you can see, I only really needed a couple of players in there. I do need somebody French though, so we are going to go take a look straight away for a French player. Um, and we have... Who did we get there? What rating do we need in terms of a French player? 79 rated French player. We'll put Sacco in to that. And in he goes... And then what we'll do is we just need some uh, a striker that is 78 rated. So, I'll be back once I filled it in. Right, this is what we're going to have to trade in to get Matweedy. This is the minimum that we can trade in. Um, as to me, I don't really care about, neither do I care about anything else in here. Other than Ken, who we are going to say goodbye to today. Um, 177 games, 83 goals and 58 assists. Of course, we're going to capture that. Um, but yeah, Ken has been a great player in the club. He's 99 pace now. He has some insane stats. So I would love to like maybe put in an Onana instead or something. But really, does it matter? Does it really matter? Because if you go and then take a look at what else I've got in my club, I've got what them and then I've got in terms of other like fodder, I've got Onana, Kepa and Rudiger, player, Weghorst, Dembele. That should be enough to get Mounier done as well. And then I can put Harrit in. Maybe I could put Harrit in into this one and then get him back for the other one. Maybe I save this Kuzman card. Maybe I save Sacco and just grab someone else who's French. Yeah, I may as well grab some other French lad. So I think we can now just grab any French player. Do I have a 76 overall player in there? Because I know I've got so many 76 rated French players. Um, no, it needs to be either 78 or it needs to be 78 rated minimum I don't know I don't know maybe we just keep it as it was and we just leave it and then we go get Harry back afterwards but yes this is what we're going to trade in now we're just going to do it because this Matweedy card is actually brilliant so Kenan Asabi goodbye you're a great servant to the club for such a long time it's going to be it's going to be tough to say goodbye to you you know but yes it's definitely worth it when you get a Matweedy card like this at the end because this card is absolutely insane like, people are comparing him to Prime Moments Vieira, who I did actually give a go, but it was only in squad battles, so I guess you can't really compare. But, yeah, we're going to go take a quick look at the stats, um, go look at some of the problem areas. So, three-star, three-star, not really a problem for a central defensive midfielder. Medium-high work rate's perfect. 5'11", left-footed, outside finesse shot and solid player trait. Um, very nice pace. Finishing is... Not great, but then again, who really cares? Same with penalties and free kicks and curve. Curve, you would like to be a bit higher, though, because in some situations, that's good. His dribbling is mental. His defending is insane, and his physicals are just really good. He might not feel that strong in-game. People have said he feels kind of weak, but I don't know. And then we can move over now to the Mounier, because if I get that Mounier done, I could, in theory, go ahead and do Mounier. And then chuck Mounier into this. Maybe. I don't know. Because you only need an 83 rated squad for that. But you need a 81 for this. So you may as well do this right. So if I just go grab my fodder. I'll be, be, I'll be right back. Alright so this is the squad we have. In all fairness. Kepa's probably. Actually out of all of them. I'm not using anything that I wouldn't consider as. Quote unquote fodder. Now, for me, though, I don't really want to be trading in that much if I can get away with something a bit lower rated. So we're just going to go grab some of our gold rares. We're just going to grab um, 78s, like, players that I can just chuck in and it wouldn't do much difference to the rating. So I can chuck in 76s over 77s up until I can't no more. Um, so, yeah, we do have quite a lot of 75s in there as well. Um, we have quite a lot of gold commons as well, so I might go complete a couple of 82 to 88 upgrades. As you can see, we have a lot of gold common cards. Yeah, we have enough, like, 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I can do three 82 to 88 upgrades, 
So that again is very good. I don't have enough. I could maybe use some gold commons and maybe do an 81 double. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'd need to save two more of these rares. So I'd need a couple of lower rated gold uh, gold commons. But then none of them really go in. But yeah, let's just um, start going and having a look then. So and at 75 works. Jeez, that's insane. Um... Will this 75 work over this 81? No, it will not. All right, that's good. That's good. Okay, so that's progress. Um, Can I get away with... Actually, I should probably pick out a player that I don't want to trade in and then take them out. So, Onana is probably the only one I don't really want to trade in out of all of these. And the highest rated gold rare I have is Darun. So, if we go with Darun, not enough. So, yeah, that's... We will have to trade an Onana, unfortunately. But that's fine with me. I just need to kind of figure out what I can get away with. But I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so this is what I can get away with. I can save myself an Alessandro Pla. Um, and I can basically just go for a 78 rated player in the midfield. That is Premier League. So I would be down to do that because I don't really care. So let's go into the transfer market. Let's go CDM. And we'll just go Gold Common. Premier League, we'll just search maybe 600 coins to start off with, then we'll go to 750, are there only 78s, no, only 77s, we need 78s, I'll just see, what, 78, 78, I could go with a 77 and then just upgrade by one overall in a minute, so if I go with a 77 then I need to upgrade somewhere by one rating, why, But what, what is the point in doing this anyway? Um, I could go with, I don't have any 77s, I'd need to go with a 76 over that 75 centre back. But he gives a lot, actually he doesn't give that much chemistry. So maybe I can get away with it. And then I just need 9 chemistry from this lad here, so he will probably give Gilbert full chemistry. So it'll have to be someone from Aston Villa. So yeah, it'll probably have to be an Aston Villa player. No, not from my club, and why is it always on special? Concert player on, and then we'll go Aston Villa. See what they have. No, nope, they don't have any CDMs. How about centre mids? I know they got Big John McGinn. So, Big John McGinn doesn't do it for chemistry or rating. Johnny Drinkwater, though, does. I'd, I'd literally need one more chemistry from somewhere. And that'll probably come if I just keep switching about, I guess. Oh, actually, I know where that'll come from. There. There you go. Wait, I lost chemistry. Um... I didn't actually gain anything from that. Right, I'll be back. Let me figure it out. All right, I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. There we go. I just needed to put the CDM in a, instead of the matter. And that did it. So this is what we're going to have to trade in. I just need to go buy a Danny drink water off the market, basically. No, not a special Danny drink water. Okay, come on. Danny drink water. Oh, he's gone back to Chelsea, Annie. Oops. Oh, gosh. Great. All right, let's just search. Actually, he's only like 900 coins. Oh, wait, and he's Chelsea as well. So that will kind of help with links. But yeah, 950 coins, 850 coins there for a Danny Drinkwater. Let's be having you. All right, buy out successful. And we got the Chelsea one as well, but that doesn't... Mm. If I do that, and then I just go... Okay, I'm going to have to be back again. All right, all right, so we've done it. This is the minimum we have to submit. I don't really care about any of it. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's just go take a look. So, Kepa, first owner on tradable, first owner on tradable for pretty much all of these. Other than 850 coins for Danny Drinkwater. And um, basically, other than that, everything else from this was basically packed. So, what I could do now, guys, is I'm probably going to do this uh, Moonier. Probably then going to do some 82 to 88 upgrades. And then I might have a go at the 94 plus team of the season as well. Um, using this Moonier in there. Even though he is great value and I could save him for a player. Actually thinking about it. Like, let's skip. Because if you look at the card, it's not a bad card. But then it's not really usable at right back. It's more of a CDM. Um, four star, four star is very good. Um, outside foot shots very good. Great pace, great shooting. So more of a midfielder. Great passing. Agility and balance is just not there. Agility almost there. It needs to be like mid 80s though. And then obviously balance as well would need to be way higher. Physicals and mental and defending is really good. But yeah. Um, I'm probably just going to do 82 to 88 upgrades anyway. 
and because that's probably the best option or I could have a go at doing this Chiellini so I just put in a 94 for a 96 and then I got even better fodder but I don't know let's just you then got a 90 upgrade 92 plus double upgrade but this 94 team of the season like that 90, 90 plus is actually repeatable guys as well but yeah 82 plus 82 plus double I think for the 82 plus you need an 82 rated squad or something and it's a bit of a rip off so 83 plus double you need something decent and then 81 plus double upgrade let's just take a look I'll be back I'll just get some stuff ready okay then guys so this is what we're trading in for our 81 plus double upgrade all right then so that is what we're trading in for our 81 plus double upgrade we only had to buy a nacho who cost us I think 1700 coins I know I shouldn't probably be spending money on stupid stuff like this but you know it's probably worth it right an 81 plus double upgrade um, we're going to go open that now. I've been trying to figure out how to do that for ages, and now I've finally done it. So please at least be boards, because then that would go nicely with the fodder we have. It's probably not going to be anything, because, oh, it's a boards. It's a boards. It's not a walkout. Please be more than an 83. Um, oh, it's an 83. But Oscar's good. If we can get another 83, or maybe even an 82 in this pack would be great. We got an 81 Luis Gustavo, but there's a link now. <laughs> Uh, clutching at straws. But yeah, another link now, and now we can just go complete a load of 82 to 88 upgrades. I don't actually have any bronze items in my club, so, um, bit nerve-wracking. But yeah, I think we might be able to even be able to do Giorgio Chiellini at this rate. We could do Chiellini, but I don't know if we have enough. But the 94 plus team in the season is going to be a bit of a stretch. But yeah, I'm just going to go and see what gold common goalkeepers we have. Well, how many gold common players we actually have. So we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have 25, no, 24, because I don't want to use um, Costil. And that'll be enough to do 7, 14, 21. That'll be enough to do 3, 82 to 88. So let me go get them done and I'll be back. Right, this one's the second one. Submitted. Right, just had an ice cream, and this is the final one done, and here are our three survivors. Mabakani, Moreno, and Ings. They'll probably go into another SBC if we need gold players down the line. But yeah, I love doing this every week. I just get to play some games, have some fun, and chill, basically. But yes, we now have three 82 to 88s to do, and we also have something on the transfer list. Oh, it's Anfield. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, I then also need to recover Harriet, who I could have recovered earlier, but it's fine. Right, 82 to 88 rated player. Who is it going to be? Not even a boards. Oh, it's boards. It's boards. I'm surprised. It's, uh, I'll admit I'm surprised with that. 84, please. Is it Onana? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Onana. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Now we might actually be able to do Chiellini, which is brilliant. But yes, now that is brilliant fodder. Now let's move on to the 82 to 88 rated player. Matuidi was the main goal, but if we can get a 94 plus team in the season pack out of this as well, and it's another board, so the last one's probably not going to be a board, but let's see who we get. German. Centre mid. It's Gundogan. It's an 84. Okay, we're not really getting that many lower rated players, are we? 84 or 85. We're not, we haven't had any 83s yet, other than in that pack, which, yeah, we still open. So we do have a lot of fodder now. We could probably... Like, do an 84 rated squad, maybe even an 85. And it's another boards, and it looks like it's a winter refresh. Who is it? Who's this Donny then? Corne, yeah. It's Corne. You know what? We will take that. That's an 86 rated card. Now, this has been amazing. What packs these were. So, I have heard that there's a lot of, like, 82 5 plus gold players, and then I've heard that there's going to be things like... Um, 90 plus player packs and stuff and the more 94 pluses as well but for me I got my Tweedy in terms of what I can do with my squad now I can either grind for level 15 which is possible but I could spend the next uh, in a, when I get a bit of spare time grinding to get the 85 plus uh, no, I don't even know what I'm saying right now but yeah um, let me just I'll, you know what I'm going to build the squad that I can and then I'll be back because you only need like 30 chemistry for this so I'll be back in a sec Okay, so this is what I've kind of figured out. So I could save Rajan Angolan, okay? But I do need a team of the season player, and I don't currently have a team of the season player. 
This actually is an 83 rated squad, so I could trade in that. Let's be honest, this 9 golden card is absolutely brilliant. I don't want to trade him in. He's got insane stamina and aggression. His physicals are mental. And other than his heading, his defending's basically 99. Um, his dribbling's very good other than his agility, which can he, which is easily improved. His passing is very good. His shooting's very good. And his pace is very good. So I'm going to have to wait for like a team of the season or something. Or like a team of the week. And I don't have any team of the weeks. And I can't afford to buy any team of the weeks either. So that's just um, E. And also the only other team in the seasons that I have, or the only other team in the season that I have, they, these are all loans luck, other than ben, other than Davies who goes into the team and Richarlison, who's a very good player and definitely a legend. But the thing is, if I really wanted this knight to use this nine golem, I could just put him into something else. Now, I don't know what else I can get away with in this team, but because I don't have anything else in my club that's like, gold or silver or anything i don't, I literally have nothing in my club um sort of like gold silver rares there's wagyu silver commons nothing and then bronzes there's nothing other than obviously pollock but looking at this this is definitely worth it for a 94 plus team of the season nine golden who i'll probably never never use again who i'll never use corner who i'll never use he's trash as well he is five star weak foot, but terrible. Gundogan terrible. Oscar terrible. This is definitely worth it, but and we also get to keep our Thomas Mounier for future SBCs. But I just want to kind of have a look at what we can get away with because if I could say maybe like an eighty five Onana, but he's like wow, he's big ratings, isn't he? So I might just have to try and save an Oscar, just try get away with an Oscar or something. Um, but yeah. I'll be back once I have found something. Well, I found a way that this will be able to work. There you go. It is complete. Sorry that this one's been really, really long, guys. But I think this is definitely worth it. We've been able to save an Oscar and a Mounier. So maybe even that Chiellini is possible now. But I'll probably use Mounier, bring him off the bench if I end up playing. But a 94 plus team in a season is so much to pass off on this game. It's probably going to be terrible, but then that's even more fodder. So, no matter what, this is big dubs. This is absolutely huge dubs, no matter what. I've, I've literally spent nothing to get these players. So, let's just sit back and probably see another team of the season. Messi. And it's Milinkovic Savic, right? Who's that? For, oh, God. It's uh, it's a little bit of fodder, but it's Kostic. If that was like a 96 bit of fodder, then yeah, lovely. We, we love to see that. But it's a 94 Philip Kostic, who only has three star skills, I think, so he's unusable. Three star, three star, high, high. He's just not usable unless you slap a central on him and use him at left back. But yeah, now that leaves me to ask the question what else do I do? Because I've just got a Kostic, right? I don't think I'm going to do Chiellini. Maybe I do an Icon Moments upgrade. But they're just, like, so expensive. I can't afford that. But, yeah. Other than that, there's really nothing else you can do. Other than, like, this 92 plus double upgrade. Which isn't worth it due to the fact that I've got a 94 and a 90, whatever. But, yeah. So, let me go start up the squad. We can now delete this squad. We can now just go squad selector. We can then delete this one here. We can then come over to this one. And now we can change Matuidi to his rightful position. We just need to buy a position modifier. More coins. All right, what's that cheapest one that I saw? It might be it might be a thousand coins to get that. Um, but then I'm gonna probably put an anchor on Matuidi. I'm not sure though, because I don't know what we really need. What chem styles do I have? I've got sniper finisher. No, I don't really have anything that he would need on him. And then I can remove that. And then what else do I have in my club? We'll go acquire a newest. But yes, unfortunately today we have said goodbye to Ryan Kent, which again is horrible for me because I've used him for so long this year. But yes, we now do have Mounier, Philip Kostic and Oscar. So very good players there. We can again bring Philip Kostic onto the bench as well if needs be because he could be pretty good off the bench. He also kind of does work into the team, but not on full cam. Um, Mounier obviously doesn't go into the side either, but, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I definitely think this is worth it. I would have liked to have got a 95 rate piece of fodder. But yeah, other than that, I'm not going to do any reviews anymore on the channel. Um, I probably am just going to bring Mounier off at some point in, when I play with him. 
I don't know what chemistry style to give him though, because his agility and balance is so bad, and he needs more pace, so he's probably going to have to be engine, but engines are really expensive, and I have literally no coins anymore. But yeah, I'm going to have to go over to the companion app and redeem the stuff that I just spent. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll show you how expensive engines are probably at the moment. Um, I do have another half an hour till I can go, so maybe I start recording an episode of the Interval Anchor mode. Mmm. Consumable. Chemistry style. Engine. We're going to go at about 3k. It's probably going to be less than that. I've accidentally gone 4k. Alright, uh, yeah, it's under 2k. 2.2k. Oh, yeah, I could actually afford one. Is it 1.2? No. 1.5? No. 1.7? No. 1.9? Yes. 1.9 is the cheapest it is at. And that one has just gone. But, yeah, that is all for this episode. Sorry, this one's going to be a bit longer. Um, really, I am at the minute just trying to scrape what I have because I don't have much anymore. I need to convert him to a centre mid. And guys, I'm back. I ran out of space, but I am now back. In terms of what I could do, there are a few players out there that work in the team that would be amazing to have. Um, one of which, David Luiz doesn't work. Neither does Longley or Ousman. He's way too expensive anyway. Same with Ribery. Firmino's good, but he's like, what, 386 rated squads? No, 286 is an 85, which is way too expensive. Lukiovic doesn't even go into the team like... Most of these players now are outdated. This Alan's still amazing, but he's just outdated. This Coutinho as well is actually still in date. He's still a really good card other than that composure. But quite a few of these cards now are just... Uh, like, you go look at some of the league cards that came out at the start of the game. Even the ones that have been boosted. That team of the season, Romero, not usable. That Rojas card, barely usable. Um, the Liga Santan there, they added in, what, team this season of it? He wasn't usable. He's freestyle weak for. Um, Ben White, arguably usable, but does he really fit in your team? Same with Bergwies. They added Maguire, but he's wank. He's terrible. He's not even a good player. Real life. Um, Goosens isn't really that good either. Octavio is alright, but he doesn't really fit. Like, most of these cards are just designed to not really fit in your team or to be slightly or meta if they do. So you don't want to be picking up them. Well, thank you guys for watching. This is probably going to be my team now. In terms of how much, uh, how far I am off level 15, because I would be really interested in doing something at level 15. Now, I could go ahead and complete week 1 silver. I could go ahead and complete week 2 silver, which would be, what, 900, 1,700, um, 2.1k 2 XP for that. And then I could go ahead and complete 500, 1,200, 2,200, 2,700. 3,100, so in total that is 5,200k, well, 5,200 XP is what I can get from these two, and then um, Play Moments King I would have liked to do, but he's just not really that, well, he's good, but just don't write him that much, but yeah, 5.2k could get me up to here, turn and zoom, oh, what, what are you doing, Messi! Okay, um, but yeah, I'm 17,000 XP off this Douglas Costa, so it'd probably take me another two weeks, at least, to get this Douglas Costa. Now, this Douglas Costa, 5-star, 4-star, left-footed, high-medium, 5-8, uh, not got many traits, but he's insane pace, his finishing still awful. Composure and reactions isn't great, so you'd probably chuck a sniper on him. He's not the most strong player in the world, and with his height, might get pushed off the ball, but he's a fun card, so, you know, you can't blame it. And that all you can go for Nagbe. Nagbe is another one that would fit in the team. Um, 97 pace, brilliant. Shooting's really good for a centre mid. Passing's all right, other than the vision. A bit low, but it'll be fine. Dribbling's mental. Probably one of the best dribblers you can get as a centre mid from the MLS. Defending is actually decent, so it's a gladiator that you need to put on that card. And I've got Brazilians. I could go with. This is one way I could get the team going. You know what, I'm going to skip and I'm going to show you both options. So this is the squad if we're going to go with Douglas Costa. Obviously, by then, Matuidi, I'll probably have to go with Brazilian MLS manager, which, again, would definitely work. I don't actually know if I've got any Brazilian managers that I'm not using at the moment. 
I should somewhere, right? And I do have Brazil, a um, manager league. Romazinho Allen was my manager last year as well, hence why I decided to pick him up. But yeah, if I go MLS here, manager league, I should have more than one MLS, surely. Um... Where's me MLS manager leagues gone? <laughs> Yay! Um, MLS, MLS, MLS. Why don't I have any MLS manager leagues? Oh, there we go. It's a rare item, Jesus. But yeah. Oh, why have I gone with MLS? Oh, yeah, Matweedy. But yeah, Matweedy would then be on... Okay, manager broke. But return to chat later. So then we do that. Alright, and then he'd be on 8 chemistry, Douglas would be on 8 chemistry, and then you've got a 100 chemistry team. In-game, I don't know how it would line up, I'd probably have to move this Parasitch to a CDM position, which is not ideal. Um, defensive awareness, 74, or another option, I could go save up for a Semedo, use him, and then I could maybe use Mooney as a CDM in-game or something, or maybe i go 3-5-2, 3, five, two, three. And then CDMs, Matweedy and Mooney, And then Y plays can be Perisic and Douglas Costa. And then Richarlison and Cam. And then. But yeah, in-game, I'd probably have to go with Perisic as the CDM for now, at least. I could, this Costage could play CDM. He's got decent defending. But yeah, probably have to go Perisic as my get-forward CDM. My three centre mid would probably be Vinicius as I've... Uh, no, Richarlison down the middle. Vinicius on the left. Douglas Costa on the right, even though... I watched a review by Inception. He said that this card doesn't play on the left, right on the wide that well. He's more of a middle card. If so, we'll go Douglas through the middle. We'll go Richarlison on the right, Vinicius on the left, Messi up front. Or we switch Richarlison and Messi sometimes. Something like that. And then I'll show you guys the final squad. Now, this is the most expensive option. And the option that I'm thinking about doing the least. Now, Nagbe is a brilliant card. And I could probably switch him to striker. And then I could go with... Pogba here, and then I could go with any French player I wanted, but I don't know. I'd have to buy this Lautaro Martinez off the market because he's the only good one, or I'd have to go for a item, like a, just a card that I could switch to striker, or I would have to go for someone crap and I'd have to bring on someone off the bench. But this Lautaro isn't actually that expensive. This um, Joseph Martinez is like 60k at the minute. He is, oh wow, what that, well, man, snipe that, 49k for two cards, that's not bad. But yeah, 49k is what he's going out on the market, it's such a cheap card for someone that good. Um. So yeah, but then at this point, Matweedy would be on 8, Nagbe would be on 8, he would be on 10, so it'd be 10, 18, 26, uh, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, 104, so this is the most chemistry squad out there. That I could go with, obviously. Um, and But it might involve using a sub. So in my case, I'd probably just sub on Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. Because he is probably the best option to bring on. Or I could just put someone that strong links in there. Or somebody that like hyperlinks to give Nagba, Nagbe full chemistry. Um, it would have to be, I don't even know. Let me go figure something out. Now, this is the options for Strongling, so I could go with Agudelo, and there was a season objective card for him as well, halfway in, he was like level 15, but his card just wasn't that amazing. But yes, this would give Matweedy full chemistry, once he's on the right position, obviously, and it would give Nagbe 8 chemistry once everything's correct. Actually, let me just go find a manager that works. It'd probably have to be French MLS, so probably don't have a French MLS manager at the minute, or I don't have a French manager, I could switch to MLS, no I don't. But yes, just imagine that, and then I'd have 8 chemistry on him, 8 chemistry on him, 10 on him. and Or I could go with Zardes, who decreases chemistry on Matweedy, but again, he doesn't need it. When Nagbe would get full chemistry. So really, I don't know what to do. I'm guessing for now I should just remove out um, Joseph Martinez, and I could just put in Zardes for now. Or Agudelo, Agudelo, yeah, that's it. And that's basically it for this video, guys. I'm sorry that it's the longest video I've probably made in weeks. Um, but, yeah, I've just been doing a load of faffing about, talking for you guys about my ultimate team and stuff. Right now, I've only got, like, what, 20 minutes, so I might just get into some Rocket League, have some fun for a bit. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. I'm going to go claim that stuff with the companion app right now. Don't worry.